Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking With Me and I have another mini album that I'm going to sell. This one I made, uh, I want to say at the first of the year. I think I have a partial video on it and I'll link it below if I can find it. But um, it was just the basics of putting the album together. But I've had so many people that have messaged me and said, please, please, please <laughs> sell your album, sell some of your albums. Um, and I'm, I don't need to hoard them all. I do need to let, let some of them go to good use. I have so many that I can't, I don't even have enough pictures to fill them all up or anything like that. So um, it's time for me to turn loose of some of them. So this one is going to be called Beautiful Life, like the little sign right here says. Now on the front, I have a little pocket here, and it has a little tag in it, a little journaling tag. And then there's just some little odds and ends flowers tucked behind. And then this is a little journaling card that pulls out that's tucked back behind there, and it has a little dolly in there. So that just goes back down in there like that. This is kind of open where everything kind of slides down in there. We have a butterfly here and some little flowers. And I need to put a little pearl back in the center of that. I just saw where it has come out, so I will glue that back. Um, let's see. I think that's all on the front. Now when you open it up, right here you have a pocket that has a journaling tag in it. Then I had put two different kinds of lace down through here, vintage lace. This is from Cindy's Vintage Cafe. There is a mint that kind of goes with the mint that's in here. And then there's a just a off-white looking. And then there's a journaling tag in here. And I've just put, uh, this is one of our flowers that we did when we did the, um, the scrap flowers where we pulled all of our scraps together, glued them down, and then created some different flowers and things. I'll link that video below too. That's one of those flowers with just a beautiful little pearl in the center of it, multicolor. Uh, this is a piece of ephemera. Um, I can't remember where I got that. It was just in my stash. This is just one of those blessed tags that are words that I made, and I'll link those below. This is from my digital kit. And then on the back, it's got journaling space. So that just tucks back down in there. It is sewn around the edges. And then over here, we just did a little tea card, a little mint uh, pearl, flat back pearl, and then just says adventure. Right here, we have a little tag and it's just got a little bit of embellishment on the center of it our favorite places, some vintage lace behind it, and it is sewn around the edges. So that's just a little tag that tucks in there. And then it has a tag up here. This is the slanted pocket, so there's two different pockets here. So we have one of our um, floral pieces here, just an old book page, and then one of Tina's numbers on there. And then there's journaling space on the back. And each one of the pockets has a tag inside that has lots of journaling spaces. Journaling spaces, journaling space. Over here I put an um, acetate pocket. This is just an, let me see if I can hold it up so you can see it a little better. That's just an acetate piece and it's got like leaves and branches on it. And then tucked inside I put our little... Um, this is that little tag book that we made, and I'll link that video below, but it just has a couple of little tags right here in the front. This is some of that Tim Holtz tissue paper, and then there's a couple of tags up here, and then just some different embellishments on the inside. And then there is a little spot on the back with a little tag inside. It has an old book page, and it just says charming. And that tucks down in there. So that is hid away right in there. Well, I say hid. It's not hid. You can actually see all the way through it. Um, this pocket holds a little book. It just says, Never Grow Up. I uh, trimmed that out, and then I kind of torn it 
tore it I can't talk this morning hello then I kind of tore around it and inked it just to make it look a little bit more distressed this is a piece of Cindy's vintage lace just to show that that this little booklet does pull out and then if you open it up there's two little tags right here in this little scalloped pocket and then there's a little notebook right here that has some of that dot paper in it that I love so much so that is just a little notebook that tucks down in this pocket. And then, of course, there's another tag in here. Each one of them has a tab and a little piece of bling. Then on this side, we have a little corner flip up. And it just has a place that you can do your journaling. This, these were inspired by Natasha from Treasure Books. And I'll link her video below that shows how to make these. I'm going to be making a few of these for some different journals because they are absolutely beautiful. They're easy to make and I love them. But you can do your journaling in here and then I've got it closing by a piece of Velcro. And then you can do more journaling on the front and I just tucked a little flower right there. This is just a little side tuck and I did just a little journal card and it just says the best is yet to come. And it has a place on the back for you to do your journaling and I put a little flower for the pull. So then I made a little pocket right here and then just a little journal card out of the paper and a, piece, a place on the back to do your journaling. Then another pocket with a tag. Then this is a cascading page. So that flips up, it holds with a magnet and then you've got places to put photos all down through here. So. And then it just closes back up and clips with the magnet. Uh, there's a little corner pocket right here. And then I just made a little tag to go in it. This is some vintage lace that, oh my goodness, I think this is probably, I want to say 150 years old maybe. Um, this came from an old elderly lady. I shouldn't say old elderly. This came from an elderly lady many, many, many years ago, and I've got just a little bit of it, and I keep hoarding it, but um, it's got kind of a mint tinge to it, and I thought it went really well with those flowers on here, but I put just a little piece of that up there for the pull. So then another pocket in here with a tag. And then on, let's see, oh wait, this this one actually flips out, this page. So we've got little decorative corners here that flips out. And then we have another pocket with a journal tag here. And then I just did a little flower, lace flower there. Sorry, I didn't have it in frame. This I didn't do anything to because I just felt like you could put a photo on there or do some journaling. I just liked how that page looked. So that is that one and it closes back over uh, let's see then you have this one you have a pocket and a large tag that's sewn around the edges that goes slides right back down in there like that and it just has a piece of vintage lace for the pull at the top and then on this page I didn't put anything else because it had lots of these words and things and I loved that so I left that page as it was I love the beautiful life, never grow up, loved all that. And then there's another journal tag. On this page, I put the um, little book page that we did, the five pocket book page. I'll link that video below as well for anybody who hasn't seen it. And then it just has tags in each one of these and uh, journaling spots on the back. And then they've got just vintage lace there. There's a little bitty tag right here or a little bitty piece of ephemera. And then um, there's a butterfly uh, ephemera right there. And then that's one of Tina's journal uh, tags. And then I put a little bit of bling right there. So that's what that is. And then this is a little like a little wallet that opens up you could put a little notepad or you could do journaling put photos in here whatever it closes back over with a magnet and then it also flips up so it's a little wallet flip and then I put some vintage lace down here and then I just tucked this tag and this is one of those tags that I made using um, 
packaging when I just used some different packaging and made these tags and I'll try to link that video below as well I've got a lot of videos to link I hope I remember all of them if I don't please remind me that just closes back over then there's a pocket in there then this is uh, let's see this is another pocket that I made and I'm thinking this was made out of I want to say this was made out of packaging too so this is a little upright pocket and I just have just a plain tag in there. It's nothing nothing special. It's just a plain tag that you could journal on and a little bit of uh, twine. This page I didn't do anything to because I love that image like that. So then you have another pocket there. This is another one of those little five uh, pocket book pages and I just have some of the ephemera and different things on there some vintage lace, some bling, uh, Tina number, just some different things and I just glued that down to the page. This is the little um, cascading pockets that we made from book pages and I've just tucked in some little, there's one, two, three, four pockets here. You could actually have another tag up here. So I've just tucked in some little tickets and just some little tea card like things. Just different things down through there so then this flips open so you can do journaling on the back so then this is a uh, multi flip so you open it up like this it's got a magnet and then this opens up and that opens up and then you can put a photo or do some journaling whatever on that then these close back over and then the magnet holds it all together so then there is a tag in there this is one of our vellum pockets that we made and I'll link that video below as well and it's just got a little tag inside that has the Eiffel Tower on it. It's not That's not necessarily from this collection but I just thought it went well with the colors. And then I just put one of those little vintage ephemera pieces on the front and sewed around it and then I put a vintage piece of lace at the top. And then here on the back is another pocket. This is the back page. It's another pocket with a large tag. And then it tucks back down in there like that. And then I put, I fussy cut this. It just says a fine lady. I put that on there. I thought that gold kind of blended with all of the different colors. And then I, I tore this out of the paper collection. It says our favorite places. This is a butterfly i do believe that's from tina so i'll link her below as well her etsy store all of these pages are hinged in with the kathy orta hinge system so they're really really sturdy they're in there well so that and there's lots and lots of room for embellishing and as you can see this it can get lots chunkier than what it is I left lots of room in between. I think I left a half an inch in between each one of the pages so there'd be plenty of room if you wanted to do lots more ephemera and pictures and different things inside there. All right, guys, that is this album. Oh, I meant, meant to mention on the front it does have an embroidered... <laughs> I meant to mention that on the front it has a, I think this is, I don't know if that's knitting or crocheted little flower right there that I got from a friend many, many years ago. And then I put a little metal heart on there too. So I meant to mention that and I forgot it, but I, I wanted to let you know about that. I will have it up in the store as soon as this video is over and uh, I only have one of them so if you want it you can go over there and purchase and it will be called the beautiful life so we will talk to you guys later thank you so much for watching